Hi, I'm Joanne Marco, a museum educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, and this is a close looking exercise in your My Museum kit. In this video, we will be exploring In a Day She Became the Master of Her House by Ronald Jackson. You may want to have a piece of paper and something to write with to respond to the prompts in the video. Before we begin talking about this artwork, let's take a moment to let our eyes wander all over the piece. Look carefully from top to bottom and side to side, paying close attention to all of the details you see. What are you noticing first about this painting? Is it the beautiful floral wallpaper in the background? Or is it the mask that she's wearing? And why is she wearing a mask? Maybe you notice that the mask also has a floral pattern to it. Or perhaps you noticed her eyes and how they seem to be looking straight at you. Does it also give you the feeling she's wondering who you are? Let's start off by discussing what kind of painting this is. That's right, it looks like a portrait. Usually when we think of a portrait, we think of a painting, photograph, or sculpture of a person. But Ronald Jackson insists he is not a portrait artist. Instead, he says, he paints people's faces so he can show how sometimes humanity is difficult to understand. He invites the viewer to guess and wonder who this person might be, what they might be feeling, and their life experiences. So if Ronald Jackson is asking us to figure out what the story of the girl in this painting might be, that means it is not only up to each of us individually to try to figure that out, but it means that each and every story will be different. Take a moment to think about the girl in the painting and try to come up with an idea of what you think her story might be. The artist even gives us some information in the title of the work to get our brains thinking about her story. The title of the painting is, In a Day She Became the Master of Her House. Feel free to use that as a basis for your story if you'd like. Please pause the video to give yourself a few moments to write down your thoughts. Thanks for doing that. What kind of ideas did you have? How different do you think your ideas may have been from someone else's? And why do you think they may have been different? Well, each of us has had different life experiences and we each have unique ways of seeing the world. That's why Ronald Jackson is very interested in how we interact with the people in his artwork, because he believes that we attach our own experiences and beliefs in observing other people. Each of us has had different experiences, and we use those as the basis for what we assume about others. This almost makes us wonder how often we are doing this to other people, have you ever noticed yourself assuming something about someone else, but when you meet them, you realized that you were wrong about them? It is also important to realize that we don't know what other people's stories are until they have had the chance to tell us about themselves. Another important part of this painting is the mask that she's wearing. Why do you think she might be wearing that? And how does it change how we see her and think about her? This young girl is also looking at you through her mask. What do you think her opinions are of you? How does she feel about you? Please pause the video to give yourself a few moments to write down your thoughts. Ronald Jackson has said one reason he includes the mask and the figures in his paintings is to cause the viewer to stop and think longer about the person underneath. It also makes us wonder, do each of us also wear a mask in some way? Perhaps it is not a mask that you even know you are wearing, and one that no one else can see. 
but perhaps we're all hiding some things about ourselves. And maybe when others see us, they're also wondering who we really are on the inside, but have no way of fully knowing until they get to know us. Thank you for watching. Now, feel free to go to the art making video that is related to In a Day She Became the Master of Her House by Ronald Jackson. Remember to keep in mind what you have learned here as you have fun making some interesting and wonderful art.